Hi everyone, my name is Ken Kwame and I am taking up the challenge by Birdkeeper Toby, one of my favorite Pokemon YouTubers, to do the Wants to Battle tag. This is the first video that I, well, technically, hmm, yeah, I kind of scripted it but kind of didn't. I just have my answers right in front of me, so I'm going to go read those out. And yeah, so, but basically, let's go back track a little bit. What is the Wants to Battle tag? The Wants to Battle tag is a uh, sort of a, hmm, just a set of questions that Birdkeeper Toby challenges YouTubers every year to do. And it's this year he was basically focusing on especially smaller YouTubers who are interested in the Pokemon, interested in Pokemon, you know, the Pokemon community. And I, yes, I, if you have seen some of my videos, you'd know that I am a Pokemon fan. I have played some of the games. We'll get to that later. So yes, I am taking on the challenge to battle, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So as I answer these questions, you learn a bit about me and see what I'm about. And yeah. So on to the first question. The first question. Why did you choose your YouTube name? Okay. Well, Ken is actually his natural name, and Kwame is a is, a, is an Akan name, and it means it's basically what you'd call a day name in Akan. It's um, given to people who are born on a Saturday, and that is me. And I chose it really Ken Kwame as my pen name, um, because in case you, you didn't know, I am a writer. That is my passion. That's what I love to do. So I chose, of course, a pen name to represent me as a writer and I chose it as the name for my YouTube channel Ken Kwame Writes because yeah to me that sounds unique you know I didn't want it to sound I didn't want it to sound like just about any other channel out there so yeah that's basically it number two what is your favorite Pokemon game hmm. okay so I have only played technically one, two, three. Huh. Okay. My first the first game I played was Pokemon Silver. Um when it came out <laughs> many, 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 many years ago. And uh, I hadn't played any since then until Pokemon Sun. <laughs> I would mostly watch the anime. I didn't really play the games unless you count some online stuff but yeah and then so after that break where i didn't play any pokemon games because you know i was kind of broke and uh i just watched the anime i decided to get back into pokemon and into playing pokemon and i bought sun and then i bought ultra sun and then I bought sword, so I guess I'm officially in, <laughs> back in, but we'll see, because in, uh, well, that's probably a topic for another video, but yeah. So my favorite game, sorry for the <laughs> rambling, my favorite game is actually Ultra Sun, because, ah, uh, wow, why is it my favorite game, <laughs> my favorite Pokemon game? One, it's... Ah, I guess I didn't because I didn't see the progression from 2D to 3D. So when I played it, it just felt like such a huge jump, you know, in terms of the quality of the graphics and all of that stuff. And and of course, the fact that you can customize. I mean, yeah, I can choose a Darkson character. Still can't really do much with it here, but yeah, let's not get into that right now. So yeah. And um, and sword, uh, the the story wasn't as good to me as in Ultra Sun, and and even in Sun. But I think the story was better in in Sun, in Ultra Sun. I mean, sorry. So this so the story was better in Ultra Sun to me than bet, better than the other Pokemon games I played in terms of the recent ones, Sun, Ultra Sun, and Sword, and the the sharp value of the graphics since I hadn't played. A Pokemon game such a long time, yeah, that made Ultra Sun my favorite Pokemon game. And then now, my favorite evil team. Since I'm old school and I didn't grow up with, you know, Team Agua 
aqua, sorry, aqua, and tea, magma, and all of that other stuff that I don't know because I didn't really keep up with the anime. I'd, I'm sorry, I didn't. So my favorite <laughs> evil team would have to be Team Rocket. I don't really know the others, so that's kind of a default. Yeah. <laughs> so the next question, number four, what should your viewers expect from you this year? All right. So number one, more frequent uploads. I am committing myself to this because I like making YouTube videos. It's fun. It's great to be able to express myself this way. So, and hopefully, you know, you will enjoy it too. And, um, so I'm going to focus on stuff like critiques of movies or usually specific things in movies, movies, games, not much, not many games, but movies, games, TV shows, maybe books. Yeah, definitely books <laughs> and that sort of thing. Analyses of all of these things, anime, books, games, movies. And of course, since I'm a writer, short stories as well that I, I'm not that really that good at animation, but I have a little picture in the background or have, a, or have a little picture for you to see while the story is being read. And oh yes, and how could I forget theories? Like my last video, which is a theory as to um what genre the Pokedex is written in. You should check that out if you haven't seen it already, please. All right, so why did I start this channel? Um, Number five, that was the question number five. I started this channel to grow my visibility, you know, my author platform. Um, to, yeah, to gain visibility, allow people to see me in another way, another location in cyberspace. And of course, artistic expression because I am an artist in different ways. Visually, not that great at it, but yeah. And I love to edit videos, I love to make videos, and I love to write. So this just seemed like another way that I could channel. Ha! <laughs> channel. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't do that on purpose. No pun intended. So channel that side of me. Alright. Number six. Name someone with similar or less subscribers you think your audience would enjoy. <sighs> okay. I am ch choosing BJ the Ninja. He is uh, the son of a friend of mine, and I consider him a friend too. <laughs> He's uh, a young guy. How old is he? Hmm, I can't remember actually. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. <laughs> but yeah, he has some very cool videos where he um he, anal he analyzes various things like um he has that video where he gets goes into Beyblades and it's just really cool to see somebody so young into YouTube and I want to encourage him to do it. So please, 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 please check out his channel and please BJ the Ninja, keep it up. You're doing great, you're doing better than me and I'm proud of you. Yeah. So so tagging so the next question, it's not really a question, it's more of a the final part of the challenge, is to tag three people. And of course, since I named one person with similar list of subscribers in number six, I'm going to tag BJ the Ninja. Yeah, you like Pokemon, I like Pokemon, get on it. Number two, Slime Nation YT. He is a gamer and I know him from skateboard training. And yeah, I consider him a friend of mine and you know, I think Sanation, you like Pokemon? I said, I think you do based on some of our conversations. You're aware of Pokemon. Yeah. Do this challenge so people can so your viewers can get to know you. And Rayan Elmo, final challenge. Channel. Yeah. So Ray is um a fellow student of Japanese. I think she's Better at Japanese than I am actually. She's actually been to Japan. I haven't. <sighs> Sad. But yeah. So in post production, I realized that I forgot to let you guys know that the, the YouTube channel that I am recommending and as well as the um, channels that I'm tagging are in the description. So please check that out. So those are a few people I tag. 
and yeah so that was my once a battle tag where i hope you have learned a bit about me and i hope you will continue to watch my videos enjoy watching them and i really want to make my channel successful and without you it is impossible because yeah i'm sure you know why <laughs> so yeah that was it i've been ken kwame and i'll see you next time